your business is failing and it's your fault and that's why you should be excited. What you're saying when you start a business is I want to be successful. And in order to do that, I need to beat out, say the bottom 75%. I need to be part of the 25% of businesses that make it past the first three years. But the question then becomes, are you doing the things that are going to keep you in that top 25%? For a lot of you watching this video, honestly, the answer is probably no. But here's the good news and here's the thing that should keep you excited. If your business failing is your fault, you can also fix that. The control is now in your hands. And so ultimately this is the message of hope. It's, hey, right now your business sucks and that's your fault, but also you can make it good and make a lot of money and that's your fault too. That's in your control. Now here's what we do to fix that. Maybe a couple things. Number one, you need to stop thinking that your business is gonna be an overnight success because it's just not. Nobody that I know, and I know people who are running seven figure companies, eight figure companies. I've had lunch with people who sold their companies for $3.6 billion. And what do they all say? They all say that it wasn't an overnight success. So because you think that you're gonna make $100,000 in the first year, and then you don't, so then you get discouraged and then you quit or you take your foot off the gas and you just coast, it's because you have unrealistic expectations about what you should expect. Do you wanna know how much money I made in the first year of my business? Like $60. I was so shocked and so surprised when I didn't make $20,000 in cash in my first month of business. I was literally confused because I had bad expectations. So you're normal if you feel that way, but it's not realistic. Here's the thing though. This all is so much more in your control than you realize. That's what I want you to take away from this video is yes, your business failing is your fault but the solution is also in your hands. I don't want you to be the victim in your business. And again, this is coming from somebody who's made, I made a million dollars in 2020, I made $1.5 million in 2021, and I made $1.5 million in 2022 with taking four months off. So they worked for two thirds of the year in 2022 because I had a baby. You and you alone are in control of your income. And the thing is what happens is your brain will start to reverse engineer and come up with scenarios on how you're gonna make that happen. But it starts from the point where you understand the truth. And when you give yourself permission to be empowered by that fact, not frightened, not scared, not overwhelmed, but empowered by the fact that, wait a minute, I'm in control of this whole game. Something clicks and something starts to change and the money starts coming to you. And it's an incredible shift. But if you don't believe that you can't, if you if you don't believe you can make a hundred thousand dollars, you will not make a hundred thousand dollars. If you don't believe you can make a million dollars, you will not make a million dollars. That's a fact. Here's the thing: it's not easy. Nobody's saying it's easy. This is not get rich quick, but it's possible. If you want to be all over social media bragging about how you made a hundred thousand dollars in a year or a million dollars in a year, and you want that, you want to be accountable for that success. You also have to be responsible for the times when it doesn't go well. You own it good and bad. And that's just how it goes as an entrepreneur. So what do you do? If you're in control and you're trying to fix things, you need to focus 80% of your time that you're spending in your business, working on sales and marketing. Maybe eight years ago, I was on the beach in Ocean City, New Jersey. And this was back when my business was making like $60 a year, $350 a year. I wasn't doing well at all. And I read this book. It's called 80, 20 principles in sales and marketing. We'll put it up here on the screen somewhere. And it was by Perry Marshall. And that book says that you need to be focusing 80% of your time on sales and marketing. That's the general idea is 80% of what you do in your business should be directly related to you making money. If you spend 10 hours per week growing your business, about two hours a day, you need to spend eight of those 10 hours doing sales and marketing. Basically, hey, do you wanna buy my offer? Yes, no, no, okay, no problem. Hey, do you wanna buy what I'm selling? Yes, no, no, okay, no worries. Hey, do you wanna buy what I'm offering? No, okay, no worries. Do you wanna buy what I'm offering? No, yes, oh my gosh, a sale is made. You need to do that over and over and over and over and over again. So if you're working two hours on your business every day, Monday through Friday, you need to be doing sales and marketing on Monday. You need to be doing sales and marketing on Tuesday. You need to be doing sales and marketing on Wednesday, sales and marketing on Thursday. And Friday, you can do all your Canva graphics and whatever the hell else you've been doing for most of the time. But Monday through Thursday should be sales and marketing. If you only made that change, you would definitely hit six figures this year. Most of you watching, unfortunately, won't do this because doing sales and marketing requires us to get outside our comfort zone and open ourselves up to rejection. You don't wanna hear the no, 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 no to get to your yes, because you're scared of those four no's. But that's why your business is failing. The minute you start saying, okay, this is the hard things that I know I need to do, I'm just gonna put my big girl pants on. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna learn how to get really good at sales. I'm gonna learn how to get really good at marketing. I'm gonna put myself out there and be okay with the rejection. That's the minute your bank account starts to grow. 
That's just how it goes. You talk to anybody that's successful, that's what they'll tell you. We just filmed a video on how to be extra confident. If you need that boost, that practical tips on doing things that are outside your comfort zone, go watch that video because it's an important topic and it's one of the big things that will keep you from seeing success if you don't learn how to build that muscle. Look, the thing is, when we become an entrepreneur, it's easy to focus on the good side, the rosy golden, I'm gonna make my own money and work my own hours. But we ignore the part where the studies show that most businesses fail. If you don't wanna be part of that clump of businesses that fail, you have to do these hard things that are going to pull you to the top. They're gonna separate you from the people who you know thought they wanted a business but actually didn't really want a business. And this is part of it, right? This is not just me saying that. You talk to anybody that's successful, that's what they're gonna say is you wanna become successful, you have to do the hard things and you have to be okay to hold yourself accountable for the bad things just like you reward yourself and praise yourself for the good things that you have accomplished as an entrepreneur.